Hey everybody, what's going on? Riri right here. Welcome back to another video. And this is going to be a very, cr like, not like crazy, but really interesting video about Apple. So, if you didn't know that the new Apple MacBook Pro just came out, which is, got, it got announced like two or three weeks ago and it just came out um, a couple days ago. Maybe even today, I'm not even positive. But anyways, like, it's, it's like, but oh, it's not like, it, it didn't get released today. It just, well, it might have got released today, it didn't get announced today. It got announced a, a couple, of, it got announced a couple weeks ago. So, I think this is the worst laptop by Apple. Their idea is insane. This is one of the best ideas that they have. The design is insane, but actually using it is the worst app laptop that they've probably ever made in my opinion. So, this is insane. So, if Apple changed three things, they could make it the best. But they changed three things which makes it like well, three major things that made it the worst. So, I'm not going to say them in order. Three things I might, I'm going to say like 10 things in this video, but three of those are not I'm not sort of which ones, but at least three of them if they change three of them, it could probably be one of the best laptops. So, one that you all know, which is one of the best parts of your Mac, is the startup sound. When it makes a little chime, it's been there since like 1989, I believe, maybe even earlier. The like ding sound, like when you start it up, that's totally removed, okay? That's totally removed. It's always been specific to Mac, and that's been removed, the, the sound that all people love. And also, when you open up your iMac, usually the Mac, the back, I don't believe the MacBook has it, but the MacBook Pros do. And maybe there are two, but not the MacBook. But you know how the MacBook Pros and a couple other the Macs have their um, the Apple logo on the back light up it lights up well, it lights up way but it like lights up as soon as you open it that is no longer there it's just a standard Apple logo which everyone is hating because that used to be one of the best things about the MacBook Pro that people used to love because that would stand out in the crowd that you know you had a Mac because yours would light up white whenever it was whenever it was flipped open boom a big white Apple logo everyone could see it took it away I don't know why so if you don't know best things is the touch bar the touch bar that's awesome if you don't know, this is revolutionary. It's probably going to change Apple so much. There's a little touch bar, if you don't know, under the screen. It, it's just amazing. But one of the bad things is, is that there's only the volume in Siri on the right, like you can see, is going... I, I'm going to put it on screen right now, by the way. But I'm like, the Siri in the volume buttons and the brightness, and then on the left, the escape should probably, I, I believe, are staying there. I, I, I believe, I'm, I'm 99.9% I'm positive. Those are staying there, okay? Those, you can't change. Everything else in the middle, that, depending on the app you're on, it changes it. It's an OLED display, OLED, whatever you want to call it, display. It's awesome. So it's not like it's just there. It's not actual buttons. It's a screen. So if you're in Spotify or iTunes, you can like change the song. I'm pr pretty sure it works in Spotify. But basically, it's going to be big because it's a big thing for developers. Because if you're in Adobe Photoshop, say you can bind something, your interface to look like something. The developers can make, the developers can actually make it so like, so basically depending on what app you're using. So say you want to... Um, Use it for um, like Xcode. If you want to have one thing that, that says like run or like add like parentheses, brackets, whatever you want in your thing, just tap it instead of like no, no, like a navigation controller. Usually you'd have to go it's go to your like go to your storyboard, go and then you'd go um, I believe it's like window. Uh, you go like edit, embed it in, and then you do navigation controller, navigation controller. But you can just have like a little shortcut right there to press it. So that's a big thing that the developers will be have will have a huge huge interface to work on. But sadly not the whole thing, but still a huge part. They will not have the sides, but it'll still be awesome because in like Skype to end a Skype call, you can have like a little red button, just press it. So they actually go on your computer. So if you're not even in a Skype call, if you're in like. If you're in Photoshop and you're like no, if you're in a Skype call, but that window isn't open, instead of going going to the bottom and clicking on Skype, opening it up just to end the Skype call or add someone, you can just press it on the bottom. So it's almost like you have two little monitors, but one is just like little controls. So that'd be awesome. I'm not positive you can like add people. I don't know what you can do, but developers will probably will will, will be able to do so much with the touch bar. It's insane. It's not just Apple. Like so many other third party apps will be able to have so much in the touch bar. So let's get into the bad reasons. Why I think this is like terrible one of the worst laptops. So if you if you don't know, the new iPhone came out, the iPhone Seven, which was um, that just came out a few weeks, um, like a month or two ago. That was huge. So if you don't know, that doesn't that the iPhone Seven, when you take it out of the box, I believe it comes with a USB charging port, like a USB cord with a like lightning, like charge your phones. Alright, so basically, so when you take it out of the box, it just, it's an iPhone Seven. Your, um, like, you have to listen closely. iPhone 7, your iPhone. Your lightning, remember, lightning, not the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, the lightning charger, lightning, to charge it, and a, a lightning, um, a lightning thing for headphones. You can have, like, one, um, headphone plug that went over this couple videos ago. But, basically, that's what it comes with. 
and your Mac, your MacBook Pro. If you don't know, for it's been a couple of years now, the the, Mac, the Macs haven't had a USB. Um, um, the MacBook Pro and the MacBooks haven't had a USB. Well, no, this is the first time for the MacBook Pro thing, but the MacBooks haven't had a USB port. They've only had USB Cs, not like standard USB 3.0 or 2.0. Um, sorry, I was trying to cut something off. Oh, sorry. So basically, th that's insane. So because okay, so this is insane. You probably guys are like, why? So since the Macs don't have the USB port that is standard. That means taking an iPhone out of the box. If you have a Mac, you can't charge it, which is what everyone does. That's what I do. Whenever when I got my when I got my iPhone SE, what do you think I was doing? Charging on my phone, not the first, because I was like, I was doing that. Um, I was doing that like like when I got it, like charge it in the wall. But I charge it twenty four seven. I, I literally only charge it with my computer. Like, well, not only, but um, I'd say ninety percent of the time I use it with my computer. Like right here, like boom, it's like plug in, in in the back of my Mac, and it's like okay. So that's pretty crazy. Why it's USB C because. Then this USB port, you're gonna have to buy like a fifty dollar extension to plug that in just to charge your iPhone seven out of the box. Also, this is insane. So Apple's like, no, to make it slimmer, like Apple's like the king of slim. It's like all they care about. That's one of the downsides that I find about Apple because I like that thickness, not like heaviness, but they can make it lighter, but not by slimmer. So I don't like it, the the thin designs. I like the like the light designs, like lightweight, but not just like thin. So basically, Apple has um basic. Gosh, what is going on with my case? Whoa. So, Apple has, um, it just, okay, so, basically, if, sorry, this is very complicated to think about sometimes. So, if you want to listen to some music, which I don't understand, if you bought some headphones with the lightning that you spent, okay, I want to listen to some iPhone 7 on the go, like, not Bluetooth, standard headphones that use the lightning adapt, like, the lightning port, like, right here, like, the lightning port, then, that means you can't, because, the, you can't. That's the dumbest thing. Because the MacBook Pro has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack that they kept. Why would they keep it? It doesn't make any sense. So they're basically saying that they're forcing, they're shutting it down. And everyone got mad about for the iPhone for the iPhone 7. They took the um 3.5 millimeter headphone jack out of it and they kept the headphone jack in the MacBook Pro. And they don't even add one for the Lightning. So no one's gonna buy the Mac. I, I don't get why anyone would buy the MacBook Pro. It's one of the dumbest ideas ever because you're gonna need. Basically, the MacBook Pro is going to cost, I'd say, $100 to $200 more to buy everything that you need to use all your devices. Because half your devices that you do have your 3.5 millimeter jack. So you're going to need to buy an extension for your iPhone, for your headphone jack. You're going to need to buy that. 20, like 20 to 50 bucks. Because those are really expensive, especially the ones made by Apple. There's so much money for adapters. And then you're going to need to buy one for USB C for your computer to go to USB 2.0 or 3.0, maybe even 1.0 if you have any of those devices. And then you're going to, devices, and then you're going to need to buy one for a 3.5 millimeter jack to make um, a Thunderbolt, which I don't even know if they make those, but if they do, that's going to be like another 20 to 70 bucks. And then you're also just going to need basically anything else that fits with any other Apple devices that they messed up on. So that's just insane, in my opinion. Like, why they did that, I have no idea why. Because if it would have been the best so if they just did if they just yeah i'll say like if, if they remove if they made them a, a lightning adapter on the macbook the, or on the macbook pro that'd be awesome and if they if they made like, the lightning adapter and if they kept the put my five millimeter jack that's okay but they would be kind of annoying so i got yeah they should just do it that if they do it if they just threw it out of the iphone 7 project then they just throw it out of here and also if they added a us if they changed your US, if they added, added USB port, port to this thing, or if they changed the US, or they should have changed two things they could have done. It. They could have changed the MacBook Pro back to USB, have it a little bit thicker, but still pretty light because, like, that little port, like the little cord, doesn't take that much weight. I mean, that's like nothing. But I guess everything does that up. They could have just changed it to USB, or they could have had the iPhone 7 change that, use not USB 2.0 or 3.0, use, um, Charge your iPhone by default out of the box with a USB Type C port, which would have made things a whole lot easier. So, but there are there are two there are two kinds of there well, there are two MacBooks. Um, the MacBook Pro there, there is that. Sorry, I'm bringing this off the website at one point because I could forget like like the exact weight. It's three point. Uh, it's three pounds and fourteen point. Well, three pounds for the thirteen inch for the thirteen inch model and four pounds for the fifteen inch model and fourteen point nine fourteen point nine millimeters. For the thirteen, um, for the thirteen inch model, and only fifteen point five for the fifteen inch model. So that is pretty much, like, it's really awesome. I mean, it's one of the best designs that Apple has ever made yet. Because 
you look like look look at this right here. Like, isn't that just insane what you're doing in like photos? 